Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to finish our reindeer today. And to finish our reindeer, we are going to cut, glue, and put in some shadows on our reindeer. So to save some time today, I just cut out my little reindeer shape. And if you remember from my video just a moment ago, I talked about the paper trash challenge. So I'm going to try and cut out my nose and my reindeer having only one piece of trash. There it is. Paper challenge mastered. Okay, so I have these two cut out. In the previous video, I just cut out my antlers. You have your background paper. So now we are going to cut, sorry, we just cut, we are going to glue and arrange. Real important, when you glue down your reindeer today, your reindeer's neck needs to be at the bottom of the paper because he is going off the paper, which is why we don't see the bottom. If he's up here, he is a floating head. Reindeer are not floating heads. So we're going to make sure our reindeer is at the bottom. Then we have one antler that's gonna go in front of his head and the other antler that's gonna go behind his head so it looks like they are in the right place. If you have them both in front of his head, it looks like he has two antlers on the same side of his head. Reindeer don't have two antlers on the same side of their head, right? So we're gonna put one behind. So think about your placement and then glue. <laughs> I am actually going to glue down just the neck of my reindeer. So watch this. I'm just gonna glue down the neck, not the, the head yet, but the neck, because I wanna make sure I get the right placement for those antlers. And as the week goes on, I might figure out a better way to do this, but this is the best way I can figure out right now. So I'm just gonna glue down the neck. I'm going to glue down the antler. Now, the other thing you have to be careful of is if it sticks off the, like mine sticks off the page at the top, totally okay. Don't put glue underneath here. So you might wanna mark, like I know that I shouldn't go above that line right there with glue because it's gonna hang off the page. So I'm gonna kinda put my finger there so I don't go over it. And then go around, put it, underneath. If you want to put them facing forward, you can. If you want to put them facing backwards, you can, but they should face the same way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it go that way instead. Same thing with this one. Is this one going to go off the page? It sure is. So I'm not going to put glue on that top piece right there. I am going to put glue underneath here now though, because I know where my reindeer head goes. Not to pass that top one, or past, sorry, past this top one. Okay, and it goes about right there. When you've got it this far, you're gonna choose between black or brown. Oh, sorry, nose, we gotta put on the nose. Some of the glitter is gonna come off and that's okay. Put on your nose, on the end of the nose. Okay, ooh, glitter. Then you're gonna choose between black and brown chalk. So we're gonna make a couple little low lights on my on our reindeer. I'm gonna use brown today because my other example has black. What I want you to do is go right around the outside. I'm using the flat edge of the chalk. I'm not using a point. I'm using the flat edge. I'm just gonna go around real lightly. I'm holding this so lightly. And then I'm gonna go around the reindeer antlers a little bit, super light. Don't press hard. Chalk lets out its color very easily. These good artist chalks, so no need to press hard. Then your hands are chalky and oil pastel-y. Don't use oil pastel to do this because it's not gonna blend. Take your finger and just kind of rub to soften it up. Kind of rub. 
And then we're gonna do the same thing on the antlers just to soften it up and give it a little bit extra. See how I'm just using like one finger? I switch between fingers, but I'm only using one finger at a time to rub too. There we go, just around the outside of our reindeer and the outside of our antlers. Oh, forgot to rub right there. And when you've got it this far, he's done. You're gonna bring it to the drying rack to dry and I'm really excited to be able to have these two hang up.